Well, good morning internet. Here we are. A little bit of a start to another day. Um, it's been a very long while since I vlogged. A little bit of a rough stretch that I've gone through, but I guess it is what it is. And uh, kind of one of them things that we'll have to deal with. And yeah, welcome to our vlog. So, here we go. Well, it's been, I don't know, three weeks or something since I grabbed a camera. And uh, probably closer to uh, two and a half or so by the time I've really ventured any great distance away from the apartment here. I know it's not good to be isolated and to put yourself away, but when you're not feeling good, you're feeling rough, you're uh, not fit to be out, um, you know, in public per se, whether it's mentally or physically or emotionally, and uh, at least with me anyway, I find the best thing to do is just hide away for however long it takes, and um, well, when the storm passes, then I venture on out and uh, get done, or do what needs to get done. Well, today I want to make me a run down to the uh, Walmart store, pick up a couple of goodies, uh, some groceries, and a few things. Uh, there's a second stop I'd like to do across town at another grocery type of store. Uh, if I'm feeling um, still okay to do it, I'll probably do that. If not, then we'll have to hit it uh, some other time, right? But it kind of is what it is, you, uh, or at least with me anyway. I'm learning uh, what is my new normal. I'm learning what is my new limits. I'm learning how long I can stay out for or what I can and cannot do. I'm trying not to fall in um, the groove that I did last winter and have the same thoughts and uh, uh, whatever happened last winter, I don't want to repeat it. But at the same time, um, you know, I kind of feel it um, there this winter. It's been a really rough few months here and I just want it to be over and back to the warmth, but there's still like six months before that's going to happen, so uh, we'll have to make the best of, well, what she is, right? So pretty much, guys, going to head her on out, do what I need to do, and around we roll. Well, hello, internets. Here we are. Well, just went through Walmart, picked up a couple of things, nothing really too major, but enough to get through uh, till the end of the month. Uh, they were a little more organized in there this morning than they were, um, well, the other morning, but uh, the other morning probably would have been like three, four weeks ago. Uh, the other morning I went in there and got what I needed and no tills were open at all. And um, as some uh, one of the staff came running on by, they said, go to customer service, someone will help you there. And I went to customer service and stood there for like 10, 15 minutes and nobody showed up. Um, then finally, when someone did open a till, it was a self-checkout till, and the self-checkout says no cash. You know, like, uh, credit card and debit only, and it's like, well, what good is that, you know? So, I don't know why they don't have a cashier open at, like, you know, 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning, or, or even at, uh, you know, 7.30 or so, or, or even 7 when they open, like they can't find staff to work or you know or they can't find staff that are dependable to be there at seven o'clock in the morning or what like it's kind of strange because way back when i used to work here i worked the opening shift and i never had problem being here for seven o'clock but again i guess that's the the way it is right well, currently, of course, just trying to decide if I want to drive all the way across town for a jar of pickles. Um, if they still even have them over there, because it's been, well, 
probably three or so or more years since I've been there, so I'm going to assume they still carry them, but you never know, right? Um, haven't been on that side of town for a while or that side of tracks for a while, so uh, going to drive on over there, see what's the what, and around we roll. Well, here we are. Here are those pickles that we stopped by that uh, bulk kind of commercial store and picked up. They are hamburger uh, dill slices with garlic, big four liter jar. I'm finding uh, difficulties cutting up a pickle with my hand uh, the way it's been lately. And uh, I'm sure there's some kind of slicer out there that I could probably buy to turn a normal pickle into this. But for right now, something like this should, uh, should do the trick. Air fryer. Well over here we have ourselves an air fryer. I picked this thing up uh, a little bit ago and uh, well it's definitely been um, a bonus or a good thing for my life. As you see got some uh, wings cooking there. And uh, well give her a few minutes, let her cook, run on down and she'll be good to go. Well, with things being the way they are, I uh, totally forgot to put up a video today. Um, it is on YouTube, it's just not scheduled to go live today. Um, with everything gone on the way it's gone on, it's just happened to be the overlap period and the way she fell. Uh, this is kind of part of the reason why I stopped making videos for the Maxwell's World channel because my life was just uh, chaotic and crazy and busy and I was having um, issues creating, editing and uploading them. And now with the vlogs and my life the way they are and my health the way it is and things going the way it's going, um, I'm having difficulties with the vlogs. and. Um, I'm not quite sure uh, what's going to happen for the future, but we can take that, you know, as it comes, right? The uh, extreme um, downs that I've been facing is uh, not easy to live with, not easy to um, survive with, and uh, there are uh, consequences and other effects that, well, I'm trying to <clears throat> fix but at the same time um, it's not easy right I guess uh, well it kind of is what it is you try your best to make do with what you have and when you can't um, last no longer then you ask for outside help and when that outside help fails you try to make do some more but in if it's just not there it's just not there right so, of course, I don't know what the future is going to hold um, for vlog-wise and stuff. Going to try keeping things going and rolling because, well, the creativity um, is good for my brain. Being able to kind of semi-speak what's on my mind, per se, without having to keep it all in is good. It helps keep me going and rolling, but... At the same time, not being able to hold a schedule is uh, where I have difficulty to. And sometimes I'm awake at nights, and sometimes I'm awake during the day, and sometimes I sleep for 16, 18 hours, and sometimes I'm awake for three days. And it's just um, that makes things difficult, you know, whether it's day to day life, um, cooking, cleaning, or banking, or other things when you're awake and everybody's sleeping or you're trying to do banking and you're tired but yet it's the only hours they are or whatever the whatever the need is right but gonna let those wings cook watch me a little bit of tv see what's so what and around we go and we'll catch you all then well hello internets here we are we come to the end of another day well, it was a good day. It was a little bit of a steady day. Went out and got a little bit of groceries. Did a couple of things. Uh, stopped by the bulk um, 
retail kind of store, picked up that big jar of pickles. Um, someday I'll take you in there and give you guys a little bit of a tour. Uh, way, way back, probably like 20 years ago, 25 years ago, um, probably more in fact. It used to be exclusively only to businesses. Businesses like um, schools or shops or places that had cafeterias or uh, food needs and stuff. But, um, well, actually, probably longer than, you know, 20 years, probably closer to 30 years now. Um, it's probably been about 20 years ago that they opened it up to the actual public without a membership. Now, there's stuff in there that's interesting, like food containers, if you're into food uh, meal preparations, and you can buy bulk um, containers of candy like you'd find at a concession or a convenience store. But one of the things I find shopping there is you have to watch for prices. For example, flats of 24 of the Colt products are like 638 or even 8 something on a bad day, but there they're like 999. You know, now if you're a business and time is money, you're not going to drive all over town to try to save a dollar, so you're just going to buy there. Now, by no means is it a Costco by far, but uh, it's kind of um, a restaurant supply thing or a small business supply thing. And they kind of carry needs for businesses, needs for, like I said, cafeterias and, and things like that. But they've been around for, I don't know, probably 35, maybe longer years, as long as I can remember they've been here. And... Um, they seem to still continue uh, even even with all the ups and downs so you know they must be doing fairly well but pretty much guys today is what it was it's kind of one of them days where not a lot happened but at the same time um, yeah a day flew by right gonna end her all here today was a good day tomorrow's another one and around around we go and as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's vlogs, comments, subscribe, and enjoy.